Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming to watch the part two of two on the topic of shifting from self to service. I am Behnam Bakshande, an executive coach, organization development, and human resources development expert, consultant, and practitioner. Uh, as I mentioned, this is a part two of the two piece series. If you have not seen the part one, please stop here, go back to YouTube or any other uh, uh, web base or online platform you're watching this. I'm sure they have the access to part one and that would actually empower you to follow the part two without interruption. So as the topic shows, we are looking at how to shift our thoughts and our mindset from just taking care of ourselves versus taking care of other people and be at service to them, including clients, customers, and people around us, our staff, our employees. So without you, let's start the part two here. On the part one, we talk about um, how distinguishing between a star and a servant. And we start from uh, the, the one of three, the first one was relationship to ourself. The second is relationship to others. And the third one was relationship to what we do. On the part one, on this section, we did distinguish the differences between a star and a servant in relationship to ourself. Now we're gonna continue on part B, the distinguishing between a star and servant on others. So it's a star checks his or her feelings. Somebody who's a star and all the attention is on them, they check what they feel and their emotions and they act based on that. They demonstrate obsession. You see some people in sales are so aggressive and obsessed to sell, which is very annoying and very disempowering to the people who wants potentially buy something. You see the people who wait tables, some of them are rude and unconscious about their behavior and their action or what they do and how they be. Those are the stars. They are paying attention to themselves and they are checking his or her feelings. Ask for acknowledgement. They are always looking for acknowledging something to them. It means they do something for you, they try to serve you, but they're looking forward to be acknowledged immediately. They count deals. A star's always looking at something to brag on. This much I sold, this many contracts I got, this many people I serve, this much money I made. They keep talking about themselves and their deals. And they work on finishing things, which I'm gonna distinguish it between finishing and completing on the next sli slide that we're talking about a servant. Again, when I say servant, I don't mean uh, somebody who's a butler or somebody who is uh, just working to serve you, right? I'm talking about somebody who's in their heart is about service and providing services for other people. Checks their others' experiences. A servant look for the customer's experiences, their family experiences, some, the experiences that other people have from them. Check on that to make sure they have a good experience. They demonstrate commitment versus obsession. They are committed to sale because they wanna serve. They committed to provide services for their clients because they are committed to provide good services and good products to serve the client and customers. They ask for corrections, not acknowledgement. They ask questions such as, did you got served with me? Did I provide for you what you're looking for? Did you get benefits of these services? These are, is anything do I need to change? Is any alteration you think we have to do to our services? These are the questions who come from servant personality. Counts relationships. 
versus counting deals. They are building the future of their services on relationship they build with their clientele or customers or family and works to completing things versus finishing things. People rush to finish a process because they're bored or they wanna go somewhere or they really not committed to it. Versus completing a process, so that process never come back to them again. That process is done, it's complete, then it's served everybody and everybody got benefit without waiting for the future. Now let's look at distinguishing between a servant and a star on what they do. A star draw, driven by competition. Listen, having a healthy competition is not bad, but if you're driven, the only do you do it is competition is not healthy. Relies on self-satisfaction. If they are happy, if they are fulfilled, if they like what they do is enough for them. Motivated by recognition. Keep telling me what a great star am I? Keep telling me how good I am. Keep telling me what I did was great. And, pr and, pr and produces results occasionally. A star would produce results, but time to time. Has excuses and justification for the times that they don't produce results, good results, committed results, the outcome that they are striving for. They always have excuses, justification, and reasonings why things are not done or not done well. At the same time, on the servant part, they're driven by values. They have set of personal values and principles. They related to their organization's set of personal, uh, set of professional values and set of principles. They follow their own personal vision or their company's vision. And they're always looking for producing values for the customers. They relies on customer satisfaction. They make sure because they provide excellent services, the customers are satisfied. They're motivated by growth, not by sales. Yes, it's very great to you grow the number of the sales. It's very great that you grow on your business and services you provide. But the motivation gotta be on the growth, not on the money. Produces results consistently because they are committed to their vision. They are committed to their mission, which is based on value of service and has responsibilities and accountabilities versus reasoning and justifications. Now, how do we transform our behavior from a star to a servant? Where do you need to move your attention from self to service? Looking back and reviewing both parts, you in an honest way, in a very authentic way, you tell yourself, where do you need to move your attention from self to service? I'm sure if you be totally authentic and honest and truthful to yourself, you will look at the notes and you know where you need to make a shift. Write it for yourself, at least three of them, minimum three of them. What new practices will you invent that will transform this area? Write the three areas and then look what you need to do as a practice. Practice is something you do by hour, by day, by week, by month. Here's the example. If you want to lose weight, the practices could be going to gym or practices could be not eating fattening food. So simple. There is a concept and then there is a reality. The concept is I want to lose weight. The reality is you have to exercise, you have to uh, eat well. So for the three areas that you wrote down about where you want to shift from self to service, look at the practices you will do. And that would guarantee the continuously doing the practices would guarantee the transformation between the areas that you like to transform. What old practices or behaviors will you eliminate 
that will assist you in transforming such areas. Yeah, the new practices is great. Like the example I said about losing weight. I think I mentioned it. Yes, I'm gonna go to gym. I'm gonna walk every day, every day as a practice. Going to gym, have a location. And what you eliminate is eating late, eating fattening food, right? Eating outside in fast food. Those are the practices that you are eliminating. So there is always law of physics set. Not two items can be at the same place at the same time, right? One have to give up for the other one. If the new practice is I want to lose weight, or the new practice I'm going to pay attention to my clientele and customer satisfaction, you have to add new practices, and then you have to eliminate old practices. Keep it simple, keep it real. One of the things that make you distinct from others is the way you leave people. The question worth asking is this, are they left bigger or smaller than when you find them? That's a great inquiry you can have by yourself. Thank you very much for watching both parts. Uh, please either contact us for your personal and professional development needs or follow us, please, on Coach Benham in social media or Benham Bakshande or Pramco Education. Again, thank you very much for you uh, following us and watching our videos. Have a great day.